Hello, hi, dear students. Welcome to you all in our today's class. Today also I am present here to teach you about the one of the most important topic that is uh, about simplification of rational algebraic expression. So all of you watch this video till the end and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe it. Okay. So simplification of rational algebraic expression. At first, uh, students, you have to be clear about the rational algebraic expression. Here, rational algebraic expression is it is nothing more than fraction. You know, you are very familiar about the fraction. Here, two by three. This is a fractional number. Otherwise, we can say two by three is a rational number. We we can say two by three is a rational number. This two is the numerator. This two is called numerator, and this three is called denominator. Denominator. So. any expression any algebraic expression which is expressed in the form of p by q and this q is not equal to 0 is called rational algebraic expression where this p numerator should be in a polynomial and denominator q also should be in polynomial otherwise this numerator and denominator both are there both they become their polynomial so you know example i take here x of plus 2 upon x of minus 5 so this numerator is also polynomial x of minus 5 denominator is also polynomial so it is in the form of p by q so this q is not equal to 0 then such type of expression is called what is rational algebraic expression you know x square minus 4 upon x of plus 2 So here, upside numerator is also polynomial. Denominator x plus two is also polynomial. So this is called rational algebraic expression. Such type of expression are called algebraic expression, algebraic rational expression. But here, in denominator, there should not be equal to zero, because you know, if something divided by zero, if two is divided by zero, then this value comes undefined. We don't know its value. Till now, so we can write here undefined. So it is still in research. We don't know. Still, it is in research here. To if something is divided by zero, then what value comes? We don't know. So it is undefined. We can say so there should not be zero in the denominator. Okay. So now without going delay, uh, we are going to discuss about this topic here. All of you took it here. There's no algebraic expression means. It should be in fraction. We can say fractional algebraic expression also. We can say. So all of you, there are different types of question comes in examination: conceptual type question, application type question, and a higher level type question. The conceptual type question, these two marks question comes in exam. Application type four marks question, and a higher level type question, these five marks question it asks in examination. So first of all, we will discuss here about this conceptual type question. Conceptual type question. So look at here. Uh, first of all, I take one example here. Question comes like this. Simplify. It says simplify. All of you, a number I am taking. The a number. So here it is x up plus y upon x up minus y. X up plus y upon x up minus y. And next is minus x up minus y minus x up minus y upon x up plus y. We are students. Uh, especially this type of question we have already uh, learnt in class eight, in class nine also you have done. So this type of question x plus y upon x minus y minus x minus y upon x plus y. This here we have we are taking the uh, first example we are taking the simplification of two uh, algebraic expression, two algebraic rational expression. This is one term, two terms are here. Now first of all we will try to simplify the Uh, algebraic expressions are containing two terms. This is one term. This is another term. Two terms are here. So this we are going to simplify. At first, uh, you have to be clear that uh, in the while going simplify, if there is possibility of the factorization in the numerator and in denominator, and numerator and denominator, then first of all we have to factorize it. If not, then directly we can take LCM. So you know the solution. I am going to solve it. So here, uh, simplify we have to do. Uh, here uh, first directly I take the same here. X plus y upon x minus y minus x minus y upon x plus y. Here directly 
you can take LCM directly. You can take LCM because we don't have your uh, to factory. We don't have to do factorize here. All are already in factorized form. So directly we can take LCM. So LCM means you know product of common factors and remaining factors. So we don't have common factor here in these two. In the denominator here is x minus y. Here is x plus y. So both are different. There is no common. So directly we can take this both here. X minus y also we can take. And next is x plus y. This both we can take. Okay. So what is our procedure here? While simplifying this type of question, what is our procedure? In the fractional simplification of fractional expression, otherwise fractional number. Suppose here two by five plus one by three. While simplifying, that you have not like this. Directly we can take LCM. Here LCM of five and three. LCM of five and three is fifteen. LCM is fifteen. Now we have to divide this LCM by this denominator. We have to divide this LCM by this denominator. Then whatever comes quotient, that quotient multiplies to this numerator here. Five divides fifteen. How many times? Five divides fifteen. Five three is a fifteen. Three times it divides. So three multiplies with these two. Then two three is a six becomes here. The plus here also this we have to follow the same procedure. Fifteen is the LCM. Three is the denominator. We have to divide this fifteen by this denominator three. So three divides fifteen. How many times? Three divides fifteen. Three five is a fifteen. Five times. So five multiply with this one. Then five one is a five. So this is equal to six plus five eleven. Eleven up to fifteen. This like question we have done in the previous classes. So here, uh, same thing we have to do. Our actual rule is this. Our actual rule is this. So here we can do. I show this here by doing like this. We have to divide the LCM by the denominator. So let's divide it. Our LCM is x minus y into x plus y. This we have to divide by the denominator. Denominator is x minus y. X minus y. So this x minus x minus it becomes cancel. So what is remaining here? X plus y is remaining. So that x plus y is our quotient. This x plus y remaining. This x plus y multiplies with this numerator x plus y. The next plus y into x plus y it becomes x plus y. What is for we can write because uh, from here x plus y coming. So this x plus y it multiplies with this another x plus y in the numerator. The next plus y into x plus y x plus y. What is for and minus minus the same procedure we can follow here also. Then X plus y, x plus y becomes cancel. So what remains here? X minus y. Then x minus y goes to multiply to this numerator. X minus y into x minus y. This becomes x minus y over this one. You know, if there is a plus b into a plus b two times, then this we can write a plus b over this one. Like this, we can do this. Everybody, uh, our actual rule is this: we have to divide the LCM by the denominator. Then whatever comes uh, there, that we have to multiply to this numerator. So it is the actual rule, but you can do like this. Look at here. You can feel it here. So this we have to compare this denominator to this LCM. Compare this denominator with this LCM. So which which it is matching same here. X minus y, x minus y is matching same. That means x minus y, x minus y is cancelled. Now what is remaining here? X plus y is remaining. This x plus y remaining, so this multiplies to this numerator. Then x plus y into x plus y, x plus y. What is the remainder? Right? Minus is that minus m. So here also same. You compare this denominator with this LCM. Then x plus y, x plus y, it is same, so it becomes cancel. X plus y, x plus y becomes cancel. So what remains here? X minus y remaining. The x minus y is remaining. So x minus y. This goes to multiply to this numerator. X minus y into x minus y, x minus y. What is what we can do? Okay, so I think you are clear here. So this procedure we have to follow for all. This is downside. We can write x minus y into here also x plus y. We can write then upside. It is in formula here. We can expand in formula of a plus b whole square. A plus b whole square is you know a square plus two ab. Very simple. Plus b square. B square means y square minus There is minus sign, so we can put bracket here. Your a minus b whole square. A minus b whole square formula is a square minus two ab 
plus b square. So like this we can do it. There is minus sign, so we can put bracket. So this after uh, this downside we can put as it is x minus y into this is x plus y and upside we can simplify x square plus 2xy plus y square minus x square this minus multiply with this minus then plus becomes minus multiply minus then plus becomes 2xy is the 2xy and then also minus multiply with this plus then minus plus minus becomes then y square is remaining y square we have to write then if it is possible to cancel here then we can cancel it here we have seen minus y square plus y square we can cut it similarly minus x square plus x square we can cut it now the remaining we can add this 2xy is in plus sign this 2xy is in plus sign a plus plus we can add a 2xy plus 2xy how many? 4xy remains the upside in numerator divide by downside also we can write in formula it is in formula here a plus b a minus b so we can write the formula of a square minus b square a plus b and there is a minus b so we can write this a square minus b square that is x square minus y square so this is our required answer so in this way we can simplify so everybody so simplify means expressing the given algebraic expression into its lowest form into its simplest form so this all it is simplified and then our answer is expressed in the simplest form that is 4x of y upon x square minus y square this is our final answer okay so in this way we can do such type of question okay then after this uh, together i would like to take another example another example look at here next example i am going to do b number x plus 2 upon x plus 3 plus x plus 3 plus x minus 1 upon x plus 2 this is our next question here here also we have two rational algebraic expression two terms are containing here one term this is next term two terms are here now if there is possibility of the factorization then we can factorize it if not then directly we can take LCM so you know so this directly we can take LCM here here is no possible to factorize it so directly LCM we can take directly LCM we can take here question is x plus 2 divided by x plus 3 uh, plus here is x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 so dear students we are doing the conceptual type question generally ask for 2 marks in examination so here directly we can take LCM we can take LCM like this LCM means product of common factors and the remaining factors if there is common factor then we have to write common factor and the remaining all and here we don't have any common factor in these two x plus 3 x plus 2 both are distinct so we can write both here x plus 2 uh, sorry x plus 3 into x plus 2 we can take like this then after this, we have to divide this LCM by the denominator according to the rule. But it becomes easier to us directly we can compare this denominator with this LCM. So here x plus 3, x plus 3 is equal. So this is cancelled. Internally in mind we can cancel it. x plus 3, x plus 3, this become cancelled. Now what is remaining here? x plus 2 is remaining. So this x plus 2 is remaining then this remaining thing remaining factor it goes to multiply to this numerator then x plus 2 multiplies with this x plus 2 then x plus 2 whole square we can write here then x plus 2 into x plus 2 x plus 2 whole square x plus 2 is already here one more and another comes from here downside x plus 2 this is equal now this is remaining but this goes to multiply to this x plus 2 x plus 2 into x plus 2 x plus 2 whole square so that it becomes easier to expand the formula of a plus b whole square then this plus we can add plus same here also same thing you can do compare this denominator with this LCM here x plus 2 x plus 2 this becomes cancelled what is remaining here x plus 3 is remaining then x plus 3 multiplies with this x minus 1 
then we can write both x of minus 1 into x of cross 3 whole, uh, whole square, not x cross 3 only, not in whole square here, it was x of cross 2, x of cross 2 same, so we can write whole square here, but here we can x of minus 1 and x of cross 3 both are different, so both things we can write in this way. Everybody, don't be confused here, follow this procedure, now downside, we can put same, x of cross 3, another is x of cross 2, then now you can open the formula a plus b whole square, x of plus 2 whole square, a plus b whole square formula you know, that is a square, a square means x square, plus 2 from formula into a, a represents here x of a, b, b means here 2, a plus b square, b square means here 2 square, we can write like this, plus, here these two factors are here, these two we have to multiply. So you know this multiply you have wrote in the previous classes. So this x minus 1 into x plus 3 very easily you can multiply. To be your tall wise you can multiply. First of all x multiplies with this x plus 3. We can add x multiply with this x plus 3. x multiple x plus 3 we can do. Now turn of minus 1. Turn of minus 1 then minus 1 it multiplies with this x plus 3 again. x plus 3 again. So like this we can write. Everybody you know this is how we multiply. Uh, this is x of minus 1 into x of plus 3. If this type of expression comes, then we can multiply this like this. This x of, this multiplies with this x of plus 3. First of all, x of multiply with this x of plus 3. And again, minus 1 term. Now, minus 1 into this x of plus 3. We can write x of plus 3 here. Then multiply this. x of multiplies with this x of x square. It becomes here. Plus x multiplied with this 3, 3x it becomes minus 1 multiplied with this x, 1x that is x only. Now minus this opens bracket, minus plus this becomes here minus. When we multiply minus into plus, minus plus here becomes minus 1, 3 is a 3. So this line we can multiply. So same thing we are doing here. This is equal to this downside we can put as it is x of plus 3 into x of plus 2. And here this upside x square plus 2 multiple 2 4x of plus 2 square is 2 to the 4 plus here we can multiply x multiply with this x of x square plus x multiple 3 3x of minus 1 multiple x of x of and this minus plus minus becomes then 1 3 is a 3 so in this way we can simplify so there if like terms like terms are there then we can add we can subtract you know so here Downside we can put same x of plus 3 into x of plus 2 keep same and upside x square plus x square we can add x square plus x square like terms we can add this becomes 2x square and this 4x of this 3x of like terms 4x it is in plus sign 3x also it is in plus sign plus plus we have to do add so 4x of plus 3x of 7x of the 7x of coming the 7x of minus x of again 6x becomes here a plus 6x so we can write you know 4x is in plus sign 3x is in plus sign plus plus we can add 4x plus 3x 7x so 7x minus x again we have to subtract then it becomes 6x now 4 is here here is minus 3 uh, plus 4 minus 3 we can subtract it the 4 minus 3 is 1 so here 1 we can write and 4 is greater 4 sign is plus we can write plus here okay so after this if it is possible to factorize in the numerator, then we can factorize and we can cut it. And if it is not possible, then we can keep our answer this much here. But 2x square plus 6x plus 1, I think it is not possible to factorize it because we can break the middle from 2 and the 2. Nothing is there. So 2x square plus 6x plus 1 upon x plus 3 into x plus 2 is our final answer. After this, we can do anything. If it is possible to factorize in numerator, then we can factorize, then we can call it numerator and denominator. Some factors, the remaining things becomes answered. But here, it is not possible to factorize. It is not possible to factorize. This much only is our answer. I hope you understood. Uh, like this, you have you just make concept here. How to simplify? Just you make concept here. I am uh, presenting many examples. Uh, you uh, make your concept. You make your idea, then after apply for uh, simplification of other questions like this. Many more you can practice yourself. Okay, uh, now again, next example I would like to take here. This is a uh, two marks question. There are two marks question comes in examination. Next question, 
Now I would like to take here uh, simplify this C number question, third question I am going to do 1 upon E minus Y okay uh, minus minus E plus Y upon E square minus Y square in the SE examination this type of question is asking many more times for two marks question uh, you learn it solution I have already said if there is possibility of factorization in the numerator and in denominator then we have to factorize it so here we have seen e square minus f square we can uh, factorize it by using the formula a square minus b square so let's factorize it so here solution first is e minus e of we can do this same thing so this keeps same minus this e plus e of also as it is we can write divide by downside in the denominator e square minus e of square it is in formula a square minus b square formula a plus b a minus b that is e plus e of into e minus e of we can and dear students after factorizing after factorizing if there are common factors in the denominator and the numerator then we can call it so here we have seen e plus e of is there in numerator and downside in denominator of e plus e of we are getting after factorizing this so this e plus e of e plus e of we can cancel such that it becomes simple for us so it is here so this is 1 upon e minus e of minus here 1 we can put upside 1 upon e minus e of here also we have e minus here we can put bracket then now we'll see we can take this is like fraction everybody you know this is e minus e of e minus e of is like fraction so this is denominator are same so this is like fraction we can see we can take this both common are there so only one we can write e minus e of common we can only one we can write now we have to divide this denominator by uh, LCM by denominator otherwise this e minus e of e minus e both are equal here nothing is remaining in denominator this is cancelled e minus e of e minus e of it becomes cancelled when we divide this by this then e minus e of e minus e of it becomes cancelled so here nothing is remaining so this upside in one we only we have one we can write a minus is there minus here also this e minus e of e minus e of equal became here nothing is remaining in the denominator so this upper side 1 only we have 1 we can write so this 1 minus 1 0 then 0 upon e minus e of then 0 minus 0 upon e minus e of is equal to 0 if something is divided by 0 sorry 0 is divided by something then 0 becomes if 0 is divided by something then 0 becomes you know very well about this okay so this much only its answer is only this much 0 is our answer so let's take together next example again one more example next fourth example d number there is a is p square plus pq plus p square plus pq plus q square upon p plus q and next is p square minus pq p square minus pq plus q square divided by p minus q dear students this is one of the most important question two marks question it is uh, asking many more times in examination so all of you look at your d number p square plus pq plus q square upon p plus q plus p square minus pq plus q square upon p minus q so here it is possible to factorize or not let's check it so here we have p plus q we can factorize p minus q we can factorize uh, p square plus pq plus q square also we can factorize if you try neither we can break the middle term here neither we can uh, uh, convert this in the formula of a q plus b q a, a square minus b square we can't do anything so this is two terms are here we can factorize both of them so directly we can take lcm here directly we can take lcm we have question is p square plus p q plus q square divided by here is p plus q plus here is p square minus p q plus q square divided by p minus q so let's take lcm directly we can take lcm here lcm we can take lcm means product of common factors and the remaining factors so first of all common factors you see here we don't have common so this p plus q p minus q both are distinct so we have to take both here p plus q also we can take here p plus q into p minus q 
calcium taken now our method is we have to divide this uh, we have to divide this denominator by this uh, sorry denominator by uh, this lcm by denominator then let's check here p plus q p plus q it becomes cancel p plus q p plus q is same so this becomes cancel what is the meaning here p minus q is the meaning this equal to this became p plus q p plus q equal so this becomes cancel now what is the meaning p minus q is remaining this p minus q it goes to multiply to this numerator and p minus q into this then we can write here p minus q into this all we can write p square plus p q plus q is so we can write plus is there plus we can put so similarly here we have to compare this lcm with this denominator then p minus q p minus q it becomes cancel when we divide this lcm by this denominator then p minus q p minus q becomes cancel now remaining is p plus q the p plus q into this all then we can write here p plus q into this all we can write p square minus p q plus q square so like this we can write so after this downside we can put as it is here p plus q into p minus q we can put same and dear students this and this we have to multiply this and this we have to multiply but if it is in a particular formula here then we can apply formula so you have to run that what formula here a q plus b q is equal to you know a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square you know this formula so similarly a q minus b q is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square this formula also you know so these two formulas you have already learned so it is in formula we check it here a minus b a square plus a b plus b square so directly this if we do have this a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square then directly we can write the a q plus b q if this we have then directly we can write this a q minus b q so here p minus q p square plus p q plus q is the we have then we can write here this is directly p q minus q q instead of p and q uh, instead of a and b here is p and q so we can write here p q minus q q so here is plus we have the plus we can write as it is uh, this also same a plus b a square minus a b plus b square then we can do a cube minus b cube then we, uh, sorry q a plus here p q plus q q we can write by formula then minus q q plus q q we can cancel it now remaining is p q plus b q 2 p power q divided by downside it is in formula here we get a plus b a minus b so it is in formula a square minus b square that is p square minus q square we can write so this was is our answer so in this way you can simplify the this type of question i hope you understood uh, very well mm, now one more example i take here uh, these two expressions, if they are like this in this term, then we can do it this way. Procedure is same. If we multiply directly this and this, then also answer we get, but it becomes lengthy. So we can apply formula directly here. A minus B, A square plus AB plus B square, then we can add AQ minus BQ. Here is we can add AQ plus BQ. So this BQ will be cancelling. BQ plus BQ to BQ. This is the answer. Okay. Now let's see next example. Next example is here x of plus 3 upon this is fifth example e number x of plus 3 upon x i square plus 3x of plus 9. This example is related to this question, just uh, uh, d number question we did just now. Uh, this question is same related to this question. Uh, another is there plus x of minus 3 plus x of minus 3 upon x of square minus 3x of plus 9 this question is like the same like this previous question this question okay look at here solution dear students here x of plus 3 upon x square plus 3x of plus 9 x of minus 3 upon x square minus 3x of plus 9 this also we can't factorize you can check it 
x sub plus 3 it is not possible, this also not possible, downside, if you try to split the middle term, then also you can. 9, 3, 3 is a 9, 3 plus 3, 6 becomes, we can't break it. Uh, this also we can same like so directly we can take LCM. If it is not possible to factorize, then directly we can take LCM. So let's take here LCM directly. LCM is both comes here, no common, both are different here. So we can write both here x square plus 3x plus 9, and next is there x square minus 3x plus 9. This line we can do, and we have to uh, compare this denominator with this LCM x square plus 3x plus 9 x square plus 3x plus 9 this both are equal so this is cancelled this and this same so we can cancel this now remaining is this x square minus 3x plus 9 is remaining so this x square minus 3x plus 9 this goes to multiply to this numerator then this into this we can write here that is x plus 3 is already there in the numerator and into this we can multiply here that is x square minus 3x plus 9 we can write like this plus is the plus we can write here also same procedure following x square minus 3x plus 9 x square minus 3x plus 9 cancel remaining is this x square plus 3x plus 9 multiplies with this then x minus 3 into x square plus 3x plus 9 we can do this line after this downside you can put same x square plus 3x plus 9 Next is x square minus 3x plus 9. We can write like this. And upside, these two we have to multiply. Before multiplying, if it is in formula there, then we can apply in formula. We can apply formula there. Everybody, already I said that a plus b, a square, this 9, we can write 3 square. So it is in formula of a cube plus b cube. So we can write here a cube plus b cube, that is x cube plus b cube is here 3 power cube, we can write. And here plus, here also same thing we can do, a minus b, a square, a b square is 9, we can add 3 square, then plus a b, a b means x into 3, then 3 x becomes, so this also it is in formula, a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square, b square with this 9, we can add 3 square, that is it is in a cube minus b cube, so we can add here a cube means x cube minus b cube means here 3 power cube, okay, you can say it here, you know, a q plus b q formula is a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. This formula you have in your mind. Then here x up plus 3 into this it is in same formula. Look at here x up plus 3 we have here. This is a plus b like x up plus 3. Okay? Now here is a square. a square is x square. Okay. Now last one b square let's make plus 9 we can add 3 square here. So this became a square means x square, b square means 9, we can add 3 square. Now minus is there minus a b. a b means here a is x, b is 3. So a b means here x into 3, 3 x becomes here. a b means a is, this is a, this is b. You can consider this is a square plus b square. We can do it. a is x, a here, a means here x, b means here 3, 3 into x, 3 x, plus b square means 3, so we can add. That is, we can write here a cube plus b cube, then here also we can write a cube plus b cube means x cube plus 3 cube we can write. So directly I am writing in the formula a cube plus b cube, x cube plus 3 cube. So similarly plus is there same, here also a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square, 9 we can write 3 square. So this we can write a cube minus b cube. I think you are clear. So you have to remember this formula, you have to keep this formula in your mind. So this minus 3 cube plus 3 cube we can cancel it. Now remaining is x of cube plus x of cube. This becomes 2 x of cube divided by downside. These two factors. If we multiply these two factors, then we get your x to the power 4 plus 9 x square plus 9 lines of 81 we can get. So this is our answer in this way we can. If you don't know, if you don't know directly, then you can multiply this. Multiply this two. We can multiply the video. I saw in your be perfect here. Let's multiply this x i square plus 3x plus 9 and x i square minus 3x plus 9. If you multiply, if you multiply, then you can get this. Look at here. Multiply this x i square with this all multiplied. x i square into this first one, turn of this x i square. x i square multiplies with this all. x i square into x i square, x a power 2. 
x is minus is there minus x is square into 3x of 3x of power q x is we are cross is there plus 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 we can add x is square into 9 9x is square now turn of 3x of plus is there plus 3x into x is square 3x of power q plus into minus minus 3x into 3x of 9x is square now plus 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 3x into 9 3 9 is 27x of now turn of 9 the plus sign is there plus we can write 9 into x square 9x square plus minus minus 9 3 is a 27 x and plus into plus plus you can do 9 multiple 9 9 and 81 so here some light terms if it is possible to cancel then we can cancel it so here you you have seen here minus 9x square plus 9x so we can cancel it similarly 3x cube plus minus we can cancel it now other is 27x of plus this 27x of minus you can cancel it now remaining is x to the power 4 plus 9x square plus this 81 this like we can write so this is x power 4 plus 9x square plus 81 we can get in this way if we multiply this two then we can do this so this two if we multiply then this we can write but this multiplication is no need to show no need to show if you uh, are confused if you don't know these two multiply how many comes then you can multiply in this way in rough copy then you can write here this is our answer so in this way we can simplify the such type of question okay so like this we can do uh, many more questions are here this type of question so dear students uh, today we do only this much uh, we did just today uh, conceptual type question for two marks question it usually asks in examination so all of you try uh, you practice this type of question containing two terms two rational algebraic expressions uh, this type of question you can try you can practice a lot at home uh, if any problems uh, occurs there if any confusion uh, occurs there then you can uh, contact me you can inform me otherwise you can inform uh, you can comment below this uh, video thank you only this much for today thank you everybody bye bye